So when you breathe through the nose, and I've I've had just changes on uh, facial development by changing the way people breathe through their nose as opposed to their mouth. And when you breathe in our body, we have carbon dioxide. And when you breathe through your nose and your mouth is closed, then you're actually getting uh, nitric oxide. The nitric oxide, when you breathe in, is helping to open up the sinuses. And when you're when you breathe in and out through your nose, you can't breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So when you breathe in through your nose, then you're combining that nitric oxide that you just breathed in with the carbon dioxide in your body. And then that chemical change allows the nitrogen to become your vasodilator, opening up your blood vessels. And the other part of the change is you get actual oxygen. You get about, um, I think it's 18% more oxygen when you breathe through your nose than when you breathe through your mouth. But since your vessels are dilating, you're actually getting more oxygen through your body and to your brain. And then the rest becomes, you know, water. And, and so you I know the, the nitric oxide opens up the blood vessels, but does it also open up the sinuses in a similar way? It opens up the, the, the capillaries in the sinuses? Well, yeah, it all, it all starts to open up. So people ask a lot about the neti pots. Like, doesn't the neti pot clean out my nose? And it's like, well, the neti pot works on the mucus that's in the nose. Mm -hmm. but it's not opening up the sinuses. Sinuses don't take in water. So what you need to open up is getting the air into the sinuses. And then these areas here, which on a lot of people are very flat, they start to pop open. And that's the opening of the sinuses.